video time. So I just got word um, yesterday that the guy that actually, in my opinion, um, put me on to investing at an early start, but I didn't know anything about it, that he had passed away. Um, so this is around like 2014 and when I was going to church and the deacon, his son uh, from Maryland was coming to church for a short period of time. And he was saying at the time, he said, hey, uh, you should invest, you know, as a young black man, you should be investing. Now, at the time, I had basic, the only basic financial knowledge that I had at the time was like checking the savings, certificate of deposits. But other than that, I wasn't doing anything as far as like investing goes. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you know, he would, he would tell me, you know, every time I saw him, I was like, hey, you, you, uh, you find out anything I better invest in? And I just kept putting it off because I'm just like, you know, I got other stuff I want to do. I'm not thinking about that. But he told me at the time he gave me some financial term, uh, financial terms, websites to check out. And one of them that I remember being was Investopedia, which I still use to this day. And, you know, so I guess, you know, he can, I can say that he's kind of like the spark that ignited everything that I'm, uh, do today as far as, um, researching, actually investing in real time and things of that sort. So like I said, I was about 23. And I finally did something with that um, conversation that we had. And yeah, so now the man has died. But, you know, that, um, that knowledge still, you know, carries on. It still is what got me on my journey. So now I didn't get a chance to tell him thank you or anything like that. Um, you know, things, you know, people go their own ways over time, but yeah, so that's why I'm making a video just, to uh, pretty much say that, you know, that he passed away, but the knowledge, I'm still applying it to this day. And I actually, I really enjoy investing. It's pretty much all I care to do. So even nowadays, well, actually if, past couple of years I've always talked investing with people because you know just like he told me as a black man you should be investing um, now I'll help anybody but um, I definitely like you know to help my own people first because we need the most help but yeah I told anybody um, black white whatever I've had um, had these conversations with different groups of people in person. So now the information for me is not, I'm not hogging the information. I love to share it. I love to talk about it. So, you know, it's never too late to start. And, you know, I'm sure everyone that, that actually does invest, they have maybe a similar story where Somebody kind of shine the light and spark an interest in them to have them to to do what they do as far as investing. So, so yeah, that's my story. Um, you know, 2014. So it's been almost 10 years now. It's just now 2023. So, and like I said, I'm I'm enjoying the journey that I'm on. You know, it's it's, it's exciting. I got a passion for it. There's always some some new information that I haven't tapped into that I need, you know, need to continue to um, grow in. So, 
yeah, it just, you know, rest in peace to him, but, you know, I'm definitely um, on a journey because of that spark at that time.